Hi, I'm Costas, and today I've got Michael Sullivan joining me. Hi, Hi Mike. Yeah. Hi. Now we've known each other for well since around 2005, if not earlier. Mm-hmm. Now I know you as a full-time performer. Yep. Um, you're here today not to talk about products you've released or what you do as an entertainer. But what I want to talk to you about is this relationship you have with Wayne Dobson. Uh huh. Now, how I still don't know how you got into helping Wayne Dobson because I know before he had people take him to conventions sure. and help him on his stand. Then all of a sudden, you came on the scene. Yeah. Popped up. You popped up. I imagine. <laughs> um, yeah. I, to this day, I, I, it, the, the situation's weird. I've known Wayne on and off as a as a as a mutual friend, if you yeah. if you like uh, talking about things like Facebook for for a long time. And uh, I used to see him at conventions, and we'd nod at one another, and you know, basically that was that was as far as a friendship went. A convention friend. A convention friend. There's so Fantastic. many other. Yeah, thousands, that's, that's the way it thousands is. Thousands of convention friends we've all got. Absolutely. Then, um, strangely enough, for a mutual friend of ours, um, Barry from International Magic yeah. Shop in London, he he knows Wayne and Marianne very well, and. Um, I know Barry very well, and I, go, I used to go in the shop. We sit there, have a cup of tea, eat jaffa cakes, it was all great stuff, you know. And like uh, you do here, like you do here, yeah. And coke, 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 and all, all sorts. Oh, this coke, by the way, guys, not <laughs> yeah, not anything else. So, um, I uh, Barry told me that one day Wayne was looking for a demonstrator, someone to help him demonstrate his magic at the International Magic Convention. Uh, unfortunately, at that particular time. Um, I was engaged in another project um, with, with somebody else, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't give any time. So I had to. I, I remember being at home and sitting down and thinking to myself, Wayne Dobson. Wayne Dobson has asked me if I can help him demonstrate his products to, at this convention, and I'm telling the guy, yeah. you know, what's wrong with me? Am I some <laughs> form of idiot? Um, However, I was getting, I was just becoming a professional magician. We're, we're, we're going back about two and a half years now. And um, obviously money pays the bills and, yeah. and, and this particular project was, was paying me money. So it was the one I had to go for. And uh, so I turned him down, pretty much basically turned him down. I said, well, I'm really sorry, I'm really busy, I can't do it. it. He got someone else to do it and I thought that would be the end of it. You know, I, I've lost my chance there. Uh, but so be it. You know, I had to pay the bills. Well, I know the feeling because the, Wayne Dobson approached me with a couple of effects in the past, and I couldn't do it at the time mm. due to and other you commitments. Think, you and, think this is Wayne Dobson? Yeah, What's wrong with you, you see you them know? being released by other other dealers, and you think, well, but logically, you need to do what you could at that time. Absolutely, there's no point in committing something. That you Absolutely, can't do. and and um, I'll be honest with you, I don't regret any of the decisions I made, and yeah. certainly. In hindsight, now I, I can say, well, you know, it's come good. Yeah. But um, at the time, that that was it, and um, I, I was I was knee deep in this other project, and I had to turn Wayne down. I went to the convention because I had uh, time to go to the convention. Saw Wayne, apologised profusely that I couldn't do it, and um, so what happened next? So what happened next? Well, funnily enough, uh, I went to uh, another convention. I can't remember which one it was, and for another mutual friend, well, we know him, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Pierce. Mickey Pierce uh, he came up to me and said, "Could I, uh, Wayne's looking for someone to do him a favour. He wants someone to take his DVDs on. His DVDs, uh, the the Life in Magic DVDs, yeah. had just come out, and he had loads of them, and he wanted uh, he wanted someone to take them back because he just didn't have them. Do you live near come. him? I don't live that." I don't live near him, no, he lives in Hindhead in Surrey, I live in South East London, so right. we are, we are uh, a, a two hour drive away from one another. But he, we're in a relatively same area, we're the, we're the other side of the tent. Two hours is on the yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, it's down the road. Ten so. years away in London. <laughs> so, um, uh, at the time I'd take my car and um, Wayne asked me if I would take a couple of boxes of DVDs back with me to my house and store them until Portsmouth. Oh. And I thought, yeah, yeah, you know, what's it going to hurt? Of course, you know, of course, I'll do that. You know. 
trying, you know, trying to appease him after letting him down with the other one. Anyway, I took them back, and he kindly gave me a, a set of the DVDs, which, you know, cracking, cracking DVDs. It's a cracking set. It's a cracking yeah, set of DVDs. So, uh, took them over, and then Portsmouth came, and I took them down, and, uh, you know, he was really happy. And uh, the rest was history, and that was it. No more contact. And uh, the next black hole came up, and popped up on the private PM on the private message was, Mike, what are you doing at Blackpool? It was Wayne. I went, nothing. What's up then? It was the last Blackpool. Last Blackpool just gone. And uh, he went, "Um, can you help me? And I went, sure, sure. But, um, you know, I'm not doing anything. And then, and then it transpired that he, uh, he went to help him at the Magic Circles dealer day in the November before Blackpool. Yeah. And he said, it's a great opportunity if you come down to my house, we'll sit down, we'll have a chat, we'll, I'll tell you what I want you to, to do. And um, if you could do the Magic Circle D of the day, that'd be fantastic. So that was the first starting point. So funnily enough, this is, I, I don't know whether it's fate, whether it, the way things work or, or the way, going back to the original time when he asked me and I was in a particular project, um, that same project, Resurfaced itself, and it was on the day of the dealer's day. So I thought, oh no, 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 I can't do it. Anyway, I worked it out that I could do what I needed to do, then rush all the way to Russell Square and do the dealer's day. It meant that I wouldn't be there till two o'clock, yeah. but I spoke to Wayne, and Wayne said that was fantastic. It was fine, brilliant, as long as you're there. So we got there, and I got to the dealer's day, and um, the rest of this is history. From that that moment on, uh, previously before that, I went down to his house. He gave me all the tricks that I needed to learn, um, and I learnt those. And I was able. A funny story actually comes of this. I learned all the tricks that he wanted me to learn. I walked into the dealer's day at the Magic Circle, and the first thing someone walked up to me and said, "Can you show me a lucky card?" <laughs> right. Never heard of it. What's this? Wayne's been demoing it all morning, so I'm sitting there thinking, "Oh." This the way it's going to be, you know. So uh, Wayne had gone off to have a drink or something, with, uh, and, and there was Marianne sitting at the stand with me, and I'm saying, "Sucky card," and she went, "It's in his book." Well, I can say he fooled the hell out of me with it. In fact, he fooled everyone in Shelby. He remember. fooled everyone. Um, the guy, I, well, we'll talk about it in a second about these, the process of it, but. I mean, the guy comes up with his stuff, and you sit there and you think, "Where does it come from? Yeah. How does he get it?" But yeah, I, I watch magician after magician after magician, and I'm not talking about people that are hobbyists or amateurs. I'm talking professional, professional. seasoned magicians yes. coming up to his stand, him showing them lucky card, and then walking away going, "How the hell?" I think after I saw it, I started swearing. Or a few swear I think a lot of people did that. The funny thing was, was poor Richard Pino, who was in the stand opposite us, it was his cards that people were borrowing. That made it even worse. They weren't even Wayne's cards. Well, I, I remember you being at the Magic Circle because Richard Pino's on my right and you were opposite him. Mm. Yeah. And I remember you actually coming late. And it's like. Yeah. yeah. So that's where it all started. I mean, that's, that's, that's the start. Then it went on to uh, Portsmouth. And we did Portsmouth Day, Jumbo Day. Uh, which was and really again, we were next to each other. And again, we were, <laughs> yeah, again, we were next to each other. And then Blackpool. Yeah. Uh, now, in between Portsmouth and Blackpool, uh, Wayne was um, sorting out his uh, more look no hands, his, his, new, yeah. his follow-up book. And uh, on one particular day, he sent me a, 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 a proof PDF of, of the book. Can you give it a read? Have a look, see what you think. So I read it, and one of the, 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 the tricks in there was guesstimation. Now I looked at it, and for a second I just stopped, and I went, and I phoned, or well, I Skyped Wayne, and I said to him, Wayne, you cannot release this in the book. I think that was one of the most sensible things that... Um... Well, I mean, I just read and I just went to him, you cannot release this in the book. He said, but I've already released it in the book. And I said, well, what book's this? And uh, he said, special effects. So I had a look, and uh, sure enough, it was there. But the the guesstimation that, that was going in more look no hands to the guesstimation that's in uh, special it's effects completely completely different, different. completely different. And um, I said to him, "No, this is a commercial trick. This is something that people will pay to to 
Brilliant. But uh, it is a fantastic. It, it just the method behind it oh, awesome. is just genius. And to everyone that's watching, I think it's going to be released by Alakazam. Yes. In yeah. the not too distant future. Absolutely. Yep. And when they release a trailer for it, you need to watch it because it is a fantastic trick. And the method behind it is just genius. Absolutely. It's genius. Absolutely. And uh, you know, I say it again and again and again. Where, how does he? How does he come up with these things? And he says again and again and again because I've got nothing else to do. So what what you do now is you work with Wayne Dobson with all his new ideas. Well, a lot of the a lot of the stuff that's coming out uh, that Wayne does is not so much hands off as it used to be. I know Wayne had a real sort of like go at bringing out effects that. The way hands off that, yeah. that, that were not used by the magician. Obviously, the two books. Yeah. Um, it's and look no hands and more, more look no hands. hands. Uh, the one with the dynamo. Yeah. Esque cover, <laughs> which is quite funny. But um, he has also got an arsenal of tricks that are hands on, and uh, I think this is where our partnership works really well because uh, although he, he does he does focus on the the, the hands off stuff. And don't get me wrong, anything that can be done where you walk away and say the magic's going to happen in your hands is far more yeah, phenomenal than, than something where you may but do we've, the same thing. Uh, but we've just filmed two effects sure. that yeah. are actually hands on. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and and um, Hot Flush, very simple trick. We'll have to show that in a second. You'll have to go and get it and. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Give me a quick performance. And uh, Cash Flow. They're both very uh, simple method, but like with all Wayne Dobson effects, the impact is fantastic. The reactions that I've got off of these tricks is fantastic, and um, they're they're workers. Yeah. You know, being a professional magician and actually going out and working. The, the great thing about Wayne Dobson is his effects are very they're very powerful. Mm. They're very. Uh, amazing is not the right word, but it, it does capture the spectator where it needs to be. And they're very simple to perform from this, but from a magician's point of view. Sure. I've released Triplex, which is a fantastic effect. Absolutely. Um, I mean, it's for, mentally... For, for lay people, it's a killer. Mm. Okay, it's not a magician's trick. Very simple to do. Self-working. Nice props. And you've got um, Food for Thought. Yep. Another great effect, self-working. And and again, uh, you know, we're, we're working on maybe expanding uh, ex- on. onto maybe a parlour stage version, um, yeah. and that kind of stuff. And they're all simple to do, but they they're really clever ideas. And you, you sometimes wonder, this guy, he's in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. He cannot move his legs, nope. his arms anymore, no. as he used to. Uh, but up there. He's probably got it more <laughs> me, clued up and, than and all of rest. us put together. Absolutely. What I comes out of it, every time we go to a convention, he's got something new. Not only it's new, but it just kills. It kills and it fools us. It's like the last convention we did in Bournemouth. Yeah. Um, it was me, you, Gary Jones, and Wayne Dobson was there in his... Greg Wilson. Uh, Greg Wilson was yeah. there in his wheelchair. <laughs> Without... Well, that, doing anything, the card trick he did. just telling Gary Jones pick those cards up, do this, that, and the other, and completely. Yeah, we can't go into it too no, much because it's, yeah. it's a future release, it's, but it just kills us with it. It's, <laughs> it's just Greg, genius. Greg looked like he was going to hit well, Wayne at some point because a, he was a, a magician that can perform a trick that fools people like Greg Wilson. Yeah, I mean, it's, without touching the cards and being the way he is, the, the way he is is just. It's, it is amazing. I'm, I mean, I pinch myself. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm working with one of the greats of magic, and he is one of the greats of magic. There's no doubt about it, and he always will be. Um, we was at the, going back to the international. Jeff McGuire was at international, and we showed him Ray uh, Mind Ray, which is in his more little yeah. hands, which is basically they think of a card and using yeah. a blank and deck. A, another click killer. A effect. blank deck of cards, and it is genuinely a blank deck of cards. You work out what card they've got. Jeff McGuire just stood there, looked at it, and then turned around and went, this is the best trick in the convention. And I kid you not, within 30 seconds, we had a huge crowd of people 
round? The, the thing is, a, a lot of people, um, you know, I've heard one person say, well, people buy his products because, you know, because he's the way he is and, mm. you know, they feel sorry for him. But no, people no buy way. his products because they, they, work. Are, they are clever. They work. And they work, yeah. you know. And uh, I, I, I will, I will uh, challenge anybody yeah. who says that, People buy his products because they, they feel sorry for him. They, um, well, when you no, see them perform, he's just, he's, um, exactly. Yeah. He, they work. They're workers. They, you know, as a professional magician, this is my living. It pays the bills. Yeah. I need something that go that I can do that is impactful, that works, and 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 pulls out a reaction. And uh, I kid you not, I sit here as I live and breathe and say that every product that Wayne Dobson bought out is a worker. No, without a doubt, and, and 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 they just work. I mean, he's encapsulated his 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 personality into yeah. each and every one of those products, and I think that's why it works. And also, that the good thing is now where, where you come in is because you're a magician yourself. Yeah, you can perform at conventions. Yep, um, he's always the voice. Absolutely, um, and and he always. You know, gives tips and advice and all that kind of stuff. The man is a, a walking, walking library. I mean, I used to think I had a really good uh, library at home, you know, of books. But this man is a walking yeah. library. I mean, he, he can teach you timing, he can teach you method, he can teach you presentation. Yeah. And um, well, the I thing mean, is he's done it, hasn't he? He's all those years ago. He was. I, you yeah. know, we, we were speculating the other day where you know where would he be if he didn't have his MS. And um, he'll probably have without a shadow of a doubt, in my mind, he would have his own show in Vegas, um, and he would have been up there with Lance Burton and David Copperfield. Well, with, 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 without a doubt, that's not a question no because doubt, the no. talent he had then, the talent he's got he was now, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's above his time. He was way beyond uh, his time. It amazes me. Just it does. You got you got to sit here. You think and you think to yourself. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I'm still going on YouTube and looking at little clips of stuff that he's done on his yeah. TV program. I remember as a kid watching this stuff, and I've got to know him, you know, pretty well over yeah. the past years. And you know, I'm fortunate enough he's allowed I think, me and Magic Tail to release some of his products and hopefully more in the future. Yeah, I feel really privileged because you know it's it's good quality products. Yep, yeah. and. It, He's got. It's it, not just the name. Yeah, it's not just the name. It's not just it, the name. It, it's all about the products as well. Absolutely. Because there's no point in you know David Copperfield coming up to you and saying, "I've got this trick to release." You know, and oh, anybody you, would anybody would chop off their arms. But there's no point in it, doing it if, if it's rubbish. If it's rubbish, absolutely, and it doesn't work. Absolutely. You know, I, I, so far, I've released thirty-five products, and yeah, three of them are guaranteed to be discontinued, mm. and. You know, you sort of learn, and you, you learn not to say yes to everything. Absolutely, he's a fickle. He's a fickle market. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. I mean, the product that he brings out is, is fantastic. I want to see Hot Flush. You want to see Hot Flush? I want to see Hot Flush. I okay. know we filmed it. I know how it works, but yeah, let's let's show people Hot Flush. Okay. Let's just quickly go. Run. There we go. Okay, so uh, this is Hot Flush. This yeah. is one of Wayne's uh, new releases. Or magic tail okay um i recently was involved in a poker game yeah and this is the hand that i was dealt i've actually replicated it here so uh the first card was a 10 the second one was a two the third one was a six and the fourth one was a seven not a very good hand at all okay Hope everybody can see it at home there the fifth one the face down one was a mystery however when turning the cards over, I got a sneak peek at the uh, turn down card, and it was the Ace of Spades, which is the best Ace in the deck, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Put that back on the bottom, but being a magician, that didn't stop me, so I just gave it a magical turn. Clicked your fingers. Clicked my fingers, and I had the Ace, which is the standard one, the King, the Queen, the Jack, and the Ten of Spades. And that, my friends, is a hot flush. That's great. It is. Uh, I mean, you, you performed it to Don, who didn't see the effect before, and 
he got fooled by it. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it it's, it's, it's uh, it adds the three elements that it's are quick, yeah. visual, and Virtually simple to, and simple to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it would. Uh, I mean, people that I speak to about gambling effects and gambling routines is that they're, they're often put off by the fact that they've got to spend hours and hours. Yeah, I wouldn't do a gambling routine. I'm not going to yes. spend all that time to learn I mean, hats off to the people yeah. that do, and they are spectacular yeah. routines. But Some I, people specialise in it, bunko booths and all that kind of absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, but I don't... Um, my Me as a magician, I don't have the time for that sort of thing. I, I can't sit there for two years learning yeah. certain moves to do a particular routine. So when Wayne brought this out, and yeah, and I'll tell you the story about this uh, and other tricks in a second, uh, and how the process, how it works. But when he brought this out and showed me, I just went, yeah, this, this, this is for me. And we made a few changes and substitutes. Yeah, to the, the I mean, beginning. I mean, between between us, or Wayne and yourself, you've you've managed to sort of like redesign the gimmick, make it a bit more user friendly, yeah. uh, and, and and it's only the minor adjustment. But to a design Wayne, this is what Wayne's all that, about yeah. th that makes it a much better more deceptive yeah. trick it's like when he first showed it well you first showed, first it, showed it to me it, yeah. and then he said you need to do this it completely that. changes it doesn't it because you yeah. look at it it's a mundane yeah, trick yeah absolutely uh, but then he, he'll say to you right but you need to do that do yeah. that do that do that and, and we've now, done it sent, and it sent in the, the proofs and everything and then you, and get, it, it you get a kind of reaction like yeah. we've done and it's like Oh, uh, you know, it's fantastic, and, it's and that's what Wayne's all about. It's, it's cheap just, and cheerful as well, things. and it's cheap it's and cheerful. Cheap and cheerful. It's something I mean, at conventions, you're guaranteed to I sell. Think, I think I put it in the description when I was helping you write up. It, it's great for the amateur, but you'll get the same reactions if you if you spent years learning that. And it should be ready, hopefully, for Magic Live. Yeah, touch wood. Touch wood. There it is. <laughs> there, there, there. All right. Um, but yeah, it. going back to the processes, that is really interesting. I mean, um, Wayne Skypes me on a daily basis. He can't phone yeah, me, so he has to Skype me, which is great. And um, uh, funnily enough, it's quite funny because now my son, who's only three, my youngest, um, he, he, I don't know if you use Skype, it has a, a distinct ringtone. Yes. Yeah. It's Whenever a that, term. yeah, it's a Skype term. Whenever that goes, oh, it's Wayne, Wayne, Dad, Wayne, Dad, and and you can bet your yeah. bottom dollar it is Wayne. So, uh, he'll he'll Skype me and he'll say to me, "Might have you got a deck of cards? What sort of deck? Ordinary, ordinary deck of cards." And he will go through the process of showing me a trick. Now, bear in mind, I've got the cards. He somehow has to transfer over to me the method because I need to set the yeah. cards up. Yeah, I will sit there and go, "How do you do that?" How did he do that? That's where it just. A lot goes. of people can't <laughs> teach people when they face to face with them. No. He, it's like Wayne, <laughs> Wayne, Wayne explained me a trick over the the phone as well. I was holding the cards and he goes, "Have you got uh, double this, double that, whatever?" Yeah. I've got the cards that I needed. He goes, "Do this, do that, and the other." Um, and you're thinking, "What just happened? Here? I just managed to put a trick together <laughs> by <laughs> phone by someone that." Yeah. You know, how does he do? And it's all in memory. Yeah. That's the thing. Everything's in memory. I mean, he loves his Dragon Dictate, which is how he sort of like oh, converses yeah. with the computer, and I think he makes notes via that. But, um, oh, the guy, uh, words can't describe it. It really can't. And um, it's such a privilege to be working with him. So you're working on a few, quite a few stuff? We're right? working on quite a lot of stuff at the moment. I mean, um, uh, we've released or we will release within the next year or so some 10 effects and um, uh, exciting news exclusive to you guys uh, Wayne will be um, bringing out his big book of magic in Blackpool is it? Uh -huh. which is uh, a, a volume that is on everything that this guy has ever done right you heard that guys Blackpool Big Book of Magic by Wayne Dobson. I'm not saying that's the official title, but look. No, it's not an official it. title. We don't know uh, where the title is yet. That's our exclusive. Now, that's something you need to you need to buy, because oh, even yeah. if you get his booklets, one trick out of the booklet is worth three or four times the value of that booklet, because, you know, normal deck of cards, perform a trick, kills the spectators, and this guy's going to bring a whole book. Yeah. Similar to what I suppose Jay Sandler just brought up with Vanishing More Inc. More similar to his mentor page. Yeah, 
you know the Pat Page book, which is a big volume. With It'll a lot of stuff. Lots, lots. I mean, it's, the stuff is invaluable to anybody that's in It's magic. probably not going to be cheap, but it's all relative, isn't it? Absolutely. How much material, how I much knowledge. No, me can't neither, wait. man. I, I can't wait. It's, like, it's just... I don't know until, uh, until you just told them. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah, great. it's exclusive, guys. Wayne Dobson, if you're coming to Blackpool, that's when it's coming. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to try and bribe Wayne Dobson to just <laughs> to proofread one, <laughs> proofread one, <laughs> and maybe show you guys a trick or two from yeah, it. Who yeah. knows? Um, before we go, anything you you want to mention about um, the processes or? I mean, apart from the fact that he skypes me and just flummoxes me with the fact that I'm at one end of a computer and he's at the other end yeah. and, and stuff like that. Uh, uh, now and again, we do go, we do meet, and we do have magic sessions. I mean, I go down to his house. Marianne cooks he, me a lovely he, meal. He keeps on inviting me, and I've just never managed to. Should go, go mate. I tell you, should go. If you get any chance to spend a, an hour with Do Dobbin. So before we go, how um, do you find the magic community in general? Um, it's a really difficult question, actually. Thinking about it. Uh, on a whole, they're, they're all pretty friendly yeah. bunch. I found that um, the magic community is quite incestuous yeah. in, in the fact that everybody knows everybody yeah. else. Uh, when I first started uh, going to conventions and things like that, I found it very daunting, very um, uh, weird to, to, to see the people that you've seen on DVD, yeah. read about in a book, and then you see them in the flesh. It's like seeing um, uh, like a film star or something like but that. You find that when you do approach them, there was nothing to worry about in the first place. No, this is this is the thing. I mean, a lot of uh, people, up and coming magicians, amateurs, and 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 the people that are coming into magic, they see these people, and I'm sure one day someone will be watching this DVD and then see me at a convention, yeah. and 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 the same process happens there. Just go up to the person that you that you want to talk to and just talk to them. Yeah. That's and all you, I can say. And if you want to go and speak to Wayne Dobson, don't, just go and speak don't to look him. at wheelchair thing. Well, I'm not going to go and speak to him. No, I mean um, he loves talking to magicians. Yeah. He, he talks magic all the time. He's yeah. non-stop. Non-stop. He's non-stop. Yeah, and um, he will talk you to the cows yeah. come home. Next time you see him, go and say hi. Absolutely, and come and say hi to me as well because I'll be there at the stand. But um, yeah, it's been great. Thanks, Costas. A pleasure. Until next time. Absolutely. We'll have to do uh, an update at some stage. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Excellent. after Magic Life. Yeah, that'll be interesting. That'll I be wish good. I can go, but uh, yeah, I've got to edit these DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.